What's up, guys? It's boy Skills here. Uh, today I have a uh, domination match on Quarry. Uh, this is this was one of the other games that I posted along with the uh, terminal trailer that uh, I asked you guys which one you wanted, and uh, you didn't vote for this. But nevertheless, I thought it was a uh, good rushing game to show you guys. Uh, I'm not using I'm using a you know a gun that most people won't use, or some people think it's a you know, a little overpowered. I definitely disagree. The uh, accuracy, first off, is if you want my honest opinion, the accuracy is just terrible. As uh, here you see, I capture C, and I'm like, where's my 150 points? And uh, so I just got gypped of 150 points right there, and no one got points, but somehow we captured C. And uh, it wasn't just right there, I burned one whole clip on one person. So, you know, I know I'm whack, she's bad. Just been trying to work that up, but anyway, here I uh, you're gonna see me get killed by this uh, P90 scrub. I mean, Enemy honestly, you have steady aim. Why do you want to sit in the corner? You have, you know, uh, or the best the best part is when you see someone with a uh, marathon lightweight and commando, and they're just uh, camping. Any like why you have marathon and lightweight on? You're just killing yourself. But anyway, uh. This is uh, probably going to be one of my last games that I'm going to post before I start the uh, Model for 2 gun guy. So, hope you guys are looking forward to that. Uh, I should be starting the gun guy by next week. But, uh, yeah, you know, I, I'm going to start it by next week. And uh, I got a little major announcement. That, well, not a little. <laughs> uh, I got a major announcement that I would like to make. Uh, you know, I... I'll, I'll just talk about the montage and stuff like that and uh, I've been kind of denying that I was gonna make another one but then again uh, you know I don't know I was watching a YouTube video it was a montage and I think it was Tabe's montage if you guys don't know Tabe he's a really great player uh, you know uh, words can only really say so much about him but uh, you know he's a good player uh, just watching his montage kind of just inspired me to make a make a montage. So I have the, I have the song in mind. Uh, it's confidential. My friends don't even know about it. Uh, I'm actually you know, uh, and I'm gonna try to edit this montage myself, add effects to it. And uh, yeah, that, that's uh, that's basically all the information on the montage for you guys. But. Uh, Expect the montage to come out uh, uh, late summer because uh, over the summer I got a, uh, I got an MMA fight coming up. In case you guys don't know what MMA is, it's uh, mixed martial arts. Uh, I train, uh, you know, when I'm when I'm out of, out of school and you know, not on the PlayStation, I'm probably training or sleeping, obviously. But yeah, that's basically yeah that and. Uh, in the beginning of the summer, I'm gonna have acting classes because I uh, I want to pursue to become an actor when I'm older, and uh, hopefully that those acting classes can help me become an act, a better actor and a uh, a better commentator as well. But uh, here uh, I kill by this kid over here. I don't know. But anyway, uh, you guys see I'm just you know rushing in their spawn. That's basically my favorite part. Of this game so far, uh, to be honest with you guys, I don't like to complain a lot, but uh, I was playing, you know, playing a couple days ago. Uh, the game really hasn't been as bad as people say so until that day. That day was probably the worst day. Uh, two days ago, uh, I played a free for all match, and I know you guys are gonna say it was Rust. It was Rust. And I had 30 kills and 15 deaths, but that's the point. The point is that all 15 of my deaths, I should have uh, recorded this game, but I didn't. All 15 of my deaths came from knives. And they're all command That's the worst part. You know, I I'm shooting someone, you know, trying to get kills, and all, all of a sudden you see someone snipe you. Like, come on. And here's that, uh, by the way, here's that clip that I uh, cropped out for you guys. That was pretty fancy. Uh, anyway, uh, just in case I didn't say, my uh, kill streaks are the uh, 579 Predator Harrier Pablo, 
probably the best set setup I suggest aside the 357 which should really be used more uh, actually right now I'm starting to use 357 more than I use 579 because uh, you know of all the commando but not just that uh, UAVs really help especially after being types uh, I can't stress how many times UAVs have saved my life, you know, going through a corner and then you see uh, your UAV tells you someone's over there and you wouldn't normally look there, which means you probably would have died. So UAVs are really, uh, really underused and should be used much more. But yeah, I'm kind of getting a little stoked for uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. Uh, that's the next Call of Duty by Treyarch. And, uh, if you guys didn't see my uh, beast mode game, or not the game, the uh, clip that I have with the MP40, uh, I'm starting to play a little more COD 5 or World at War, some people say. Uh, as bad as people say it is, uh, I I really think it's my favorite Call of Duty game, to be honest with you guys. Uh, Infinity Ward has a lot of problems with their games. It's just, I, I can't explain it. COD 4, COD 4 was great, I'll be honest with you. But uh, if there's one thing uh, I'm sure people that will agree with me with is that uh, all the Fate Wars games can be hacked very easily. Because I remember on uh, Xbox and PlayStation 3, you'd have people uh, before Modern Warfare 2 came out, they'd have uh, some fly mode, I think it was called, uh, I don't know, some fly mode that you just play with the uh, code and system. And uh, now uh, with uh, this game, you also have... Uh, people getting care package nukes uh, I've, I saw a YouTube video on it about a, a month or two ago some person he uh, I saw him he was playing a uh, domination on scrappy or he uh, he has hardline on so he gets his little three kill streak and he throws his care package down he turns up to be a tactical strike which is a tactical nuke and uh, game over but uh, I don't exactly remember what kind of uh, class what kind of a uh, game a video that was excuse me uh, but you know it's, it's getting crazy you have uh, not to mention commando and uh, martyrdom which is still annoying and painkiller now if you want to if you want a problem out of me and Call of Duty World at War uh, MP40 is not a problem the only problem is MP40 juggernaut that that's uh, a problem but you know if I can deal with it and I get really ticked with this game that I think you guys can deal with it I mean Think of all the flaws in Modern Warfare 2, and uh, think of basically think of MP40 Juggernaut. And it's not gonna, it's not gonna kill you, guys. Trust me. I mean, I also have another thing to say. Uh, if I don't know why people hate Treyarch so much, uh, if someone can tell me in the comment section why they hate Treyarch, because uh, I think Treyarch, to be honest, with you, makes a better Call of Duty game than uh, Infinity War does. Uh, Infinity War is just greedy for money. I mean, uh, you want my honest opinion? Treyarch is, to me, ten times better than Infinity War will ever be, because Treyarch actually cares about what their people say. It doesn't take, uh, I mean, not. I know the models are overpowered, but for uh, for one example, it doesn't take uh, Treyarch three months of uh, community complaining to change one problem. I mean, I don't see why. And. Uh, not only with that problem, when Tra when uh, Infinity War did fix that problem, it added all the bad spawns, which you see now, which, uh, uh, you know, my friends and I always complain about. I mean, I don't, how would you guys feel if you were on a nice kill streak, and it's domination, you guys have the flag, like, happened to me in the high rise the other day, or actually, I'm sorry, terminal, uh, we had A, we just took A, and uh, they're all spawning at C, I see my UAV, and then I go inside that uh, building where they all spawn at A, the flower shop, and as soon as I go over there, I, I uh, come out the same way I came in, which was the uh, back door entrance, the one that I got the uh, vector kill and that uh, spawn rape that I show you guys. So as soon as I come out of there, someone spawns behind me, I don't even know, and he kills me. I mean, come on. Just think it, like, I know I didn't have a major kill streak at the time, but think about you guys, like, for some people that want to get nukes, how would you guys feel you had a 24 kill streak, just, you know, you know, patiently looking for someone, and, you know, you like, I'm staying in my, in my boundaries, obviously, because we have the flag, 
and then all of a sudden someone just spawns directly behind you. I mean, it's it's really bad. And then, for example, you know, I hate to complain. Uh, I know I sound like a complete, you know, complete, uh, you know, bitch face, whatever. But you know, you guys saw the reason why I went back to COD 5. You know, I, I've always loved COD 5, and basically, if you guys didn't see the video, I put an annotation here. But uh, you guys know the story is that I had the uh, MP5 the other day. I'm shooting someone in Skidro. And uh, they go into last stand, and I'm on the stairs. If it, in case you guys don't know where the stairs are, and the guy shoots the stairs, and last and final stand actually, and he kills me, which makes no sense at all. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, sorry I have to ramble a lot, but uh, you know, it's my for two. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.